I started losing my eyesight at around age 32. Then the way I saw things would be best described as like a honeycomb of blind spots. When I would be taking a walk with Anne, for instance, I would turn to look at her. I didn't see her face very well at all. I couldn't read a book under normal lighting, couldn't ride a bicycle, couldn't run. I was driving on a main street in a New Hampshire town and almost hit two people in a crosswalk. I suffered a lot of emotional and mental problems after the diagnosis, and especially after uh, turning in my driver's license. That, that was a major shock, and um, it put me into a near lethal depression. I made plans to retire, came to Nashville with the express purpose of jumping off of a bridge. At the last minute, I stepped backward instead of forward and decided to get some help. But I almost did. I, I was within 30 seconds of jumping off a bridge in downtown Nashville. They called it a maculopathy, which basically means a disease of the macula. The bottom line is there is no treatment, no cure, and no hope of either on the horizon. The first I actually heard about stem cell therapy was at the same doctor's office that had previously told me there was no hope. And so I remember his exact words. He said, if there's going to be a solution to your problem, it's not going to be in genetic therapy, it's going to be in stem cells. When it turned out to be a real possibility and a great treatment for him, I was pretty amazed. The surgery actually consists of uh, a one and a half hour procedure. An orthopedic surgeon withdrew bone marrow from my hip bone, and there's a special centrifuge that's been developed for stem cells. They isolate those, concentrate them, and they, they make a cocktail, and they inject it into the damaged areas of my eyes. And that's, that's it. The spots there, they have faded away gradually. It, my doctor at Vanderbilt has documented the clearing of the disease around my macula. I think that since I've regained my sight, one of the most satisfying things is being able to pay more attention to who she is by knowing how she looks. I can see her blue eyes very clearly and she has no idea how precious that is for me to see. I can read the emotion on her face. I would say this is miraculous. His doctor that did the procedure can explain what he thinks is going on, but it still seems amazingly miraculous. I'm working on a lot of things now. I've started a, a consulting firm. I want to educate some of the stem cell clinics that are emerging, help them understand what a patient needs at the very beginning and how they can improve the patient's outcome at the end. So going on a walk with Doug now is very different. He walks a little faster than I do, so I usually have to say, could you slow down just a little bit? Today we don't stop looking at each other, to be honest with you. And my pleasure in doing that is maybe more emotionally flooded than hers because I feel gratitude, I feel thankfulness, I feel amazement, I feel love. I'm Doug Oliver and I had adult stem cell treatments to my eyes last year and now I can see the beautiful sparkle in Anne's blue eyes.